¿Llamo? Sí. Ven acá, por favor. Oh, wow. Yo necesito uh -huh. que tú me digas la verdad. Ok. Me veo gorda con esta ropa. Mm. Wow, no, no. Pero no. mírame bien. Wow, tú ves muy bonita. Parece como hacer ejercicios. <risa> sí, hago ejercicio. Ah, ok, guarda esta. Y dime, ¿por qué tú tienes ropa así? Oh, porque quiero ir afuera a dar una vuelta. ¿De verdad? Sí, ¿quieres ir conmigo? Oh, wow. Sí, bueno, yo tengo que cambiar, pero sí, yo quiero, yo quiero ir. Bueno, Lía, antes que salimos, uh, muchos seguidores quieren saber tu Instagram. Es como tú tienes un Instagram. Sí. Dime, ¿qué, ¿qué es tu Instagram? Mi Instagram es... your time wasting your resources on women who are doing something now, these women in DR are doing nasty shit we got 200 people in the chat hit that like button guys these women in the DR are trash and I will never come back here I would never I would never come back here bro these women are trash in the DR but tomorrow we're gonna go out we're gonna show you I'm a, I'm a code approach I'm going to code approach tomorrow I'm going to show you exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, live on YouTube. And I'm sick and tired of people hyping up the DR. The DR is trash. This country is trash. These women are trash. These are trashy women. And I'm sick of it. Stop hyping shit up, bro. Stop hyping shit up. Bueno, Leah, dime, ¿cómo fue tu experiencia en, en Los Grados? Me gustó mucho. Fue muy chévere. Sí, tú balaste muy bien. Gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, es mi defecto. Sí, sí, sí. Es cierto, es cierto. ¿Y cómo tú tienes cansada ahora? No. No. Para nada. Quiero hacer más cosas. Vamos a ver Netflix. ¿Tú quieres ver Netflix? Ok, bueno. Vamos, vamos, vamos. So guys, the last audio you just heard was a brother named uh, Foreign Only. That's his YouTube name. I think his actual name is Floyd. And, you know, I wanted to play this clip because, you know, I've heard not just from him, but also from a lot of people. Sometimes they get very disgruntled as it relates to dating in Dominican Republic and specifically San Domingo. Um, obviously, the big comparison is between Sosua and San Domingo. This is where a lot of guys visit when they visit Dominican Republic. Um, so I want to kind of give you five tips uh are five things that i think could help you know before you visit san domingo especially as it relates to dating and relationships so first off this is very obvious san domingo is not sasua you know san, san domingo is not um a, a dating uh playground we'll say it's you know it's the capital city the biggest city here in dominican republic so very different than sasua uh secondly um you know uh as it relates to and I, I use the word dating very loosely you know obviously there's dating and then there's tricking but as it relates to to that front <laughs> you know if you go on some of these uh, online apps such as tinder or um uh, or dr cupid which is a website you know what i mean and you run into a girl and, and everything's just very smooth everything's just very easily then there's a high chance that she's a pro which is perfectly fine maybe that's what you're looking for but at the same time i think some guys get upset and they end up you know being on kind of getting on these rants because they have these expectations of meeting a girl that they can you know wine and dine and go on a date with and go to see the museums and all these different sightseeing activities but really you're just talking to a pro you know what i'm saying which obviously we know that just wants to bang bang you know get that ching ching <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying cha ching i don't mean to be i was supposed to be racial but you know a little cha ching and really that's it you know what i'm saying and so so you just set your expectations accordingly um you know also something that's important that when it comes to going out but not really related to ladies is how you dress that's also very important um just and I, i'm not so much saying you need to dress to impress but just saying that in san domingo also in santiago you know wearing you know just 
regular, sh- you know, some shoes and pants are important because I've had experiences like a long time ago where I didn't do that. I was wearing shorts and some flip flops, you know, just like, you know, like a tourist. And s- some of the bars wouldn't let me in, you know. So on the coast in Sasua and Las Trinas, it doesn't really matter. But in Santo Domingo, they will they sometimes they won't let you in if you know you're not wearing like i said what what you need to be wearing like i said before um and then you know another kind of a a point that i have found like i said there's a difference between dating and tricking and there's nothing really nothing technically really wrong with either one but as it relates to dating i think dating is so much better in santa domingo uh, and my reason for that is just because there's so much more diversity, there's so much ver- more variety of different type of women here. Uh, you know, you have women who are really, some of them are really on their purpose, you know, as it relates to their careers. Uh, and there's also just a lot of beautiful women, you could say even more beautiful women here uh, in San Domingo compared to, in, you know, in Sasua or, you know, other parts of the country. So, yeah, so to me, just overall, because of the variety and the different type of women, I, I would say dating here in San Domingo is much better. Obviously, it's a little bit more challenging. Just talking about, you know, dating, you know, is a little bit more challenging, obviously, but, you know, it's definitely better, I would say, overall. And my and the last point that I would say, or a tip, is related to, you know, a lot of you guys ask me, is Spanish necessary? And what I would say to that is, I would say yes, it is, and also no, it isn't. I would say no in the sense that uh, there's guys who've had a great time don't speak any Spanish. I would say if you're planning on coming here for the long term, then it could definitely help. It definitely opens up the pool because there are a lot of women here who speak uh, English. That, that's true um, in San Domingo. But it definitely opens up the pool and opens up your uh, opens up your uh, options if you do not even don't know Spanish. But if you at least attempt to learn it or try to learn it, it definitely opens up some doors, obviously being here in Dominican Republic. As relates, to, as relates to really anything, but also in dating as well. Anyways, guys, that's really all I have to say. Those are my five tips. Uh, guys, if you want to add anything or you think I'm incorrect on anything, just, you know, please feel free to write in the comment section. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video and peace.